Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this uh, Range Rover Evoque. So from any screen, you've got nav over here, or you can uh, on the if you're on the home menu, you can just that's that's the home menu there. You can just click on the center uh, or just say nav there. You've got nav menu and destination entry there. So nav menu. That's your stuff, destination entry, previous destination, and, and so on. That's an uh, important one. You can knock the sound off for uh, root voice guidance there. So we'll just put that back on, go back. As you can see, if you can just click destination entry, you, you get the same thing. But postcode is the quickest one. We're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Walkley Dale, Preston, P, R, and then you go to numbers. The Range Rover Land Rover system is quite good. Usually when there's only two digits in the postcode, you have to put a space in, but this one automatically uh, does it for you. J, where's the S gone, S. And then OK. Then you have to click, even though you clicked OK, you have to click Go. Destination's nearby where we're actually sat in the garage, so, uh, you couldn't get any any <laughs> closer, but, uh, but that's it. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this Range Rover Evoque. First thing to do is make sure your Bluetooth is on, and then you're watching out at the bottom here. And you've got phone, you click that phone button there, you've got search new. Alternatively, you can Go into the home menu and uh, again you've got phone there please pair so touch that and you're back to the same screen search new vehicle to device or device to vehicle i think you're always better doing it from vehicle to device so that's it it's looking got so picked up my phone so Barry's iPhone 11 click on that to pair and connect phone enter 0901 on handset so here we go the screens finally come up 0901 pair allow contacts and favorites to sync so we'll do that and it'll just take a couple of moments to use it the, the phone connects to the audio system quicker than the uh, audio system connects to the phone and you see there a Range Rover connected and now phone connected and that's it you've got your display so so that's that's that okay I'll just show you how to stream audio once your phone is paired to the Bluetooth system in this uh, Range Rover Evoque if you go to your music to your, your tunes you'll see I'll just turn that down oh, dear, I've got big fingers you see at the bottom Range Rover if you just click on that you see there's a tick next to Range Rover. If you can't see that, just click on that little triangle with the circles and just make sure. So we've got a tick there. That means that if you're on media and you're on Bluetooth, anything that's playing on this on your phone will come out through the speakers of the radio. So now what we do, if we go over to audio video on here, you see my music there. Click on my music. It's already on bluetooth but if it's not you click on the plus at the end there and then you've got a choice it, it could have been an auxiliary usb stored cds like like so i'll just i'll just go back so if we go if we go back um just go back a bit more so you've got a tick there you come onto your your music You've got audio video there you can see it's on USB so you click audio video and then you see source there click plus and then phone and anything that you play on your phone will come on here so I'll turn this up now so that's that and then I'll turn it up on my phone because I, I can't play it for too long otherwise I'll get a copyright strike but if I turn that up and that's it playing through the system 
uh, sometimes I get comments um, on my video saying that it's not very loud you have to make sure that that's turned up the volumes turned up on your phone otherwise you can turn that up as, as loud as you want and it will still only place the volume of your phone so so that's it so that's how you do that okay I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this Range Rover Evoque um, from any screen you can either go into home menu and then click on phone there in which case if there's nothing connected already it shows you that it lists the phones that are connected and you'll see it comes up there delete and you just click like so delete Barry's iPhone that's it gone